Hi guys and welcome back to Journey Kids. I hope you guys are excited for this week because I am and you know what else it is? It is the last week of 2020, the end to a really crazy year. This week we're going to be starting on a new series that we're going to be continuing on into January. How many of you like board games? I know I like some board games. What's your guys' favorite board games? One of my favorite board games is called Shoots and Ladders. Who's played this fun game? Some of you have, and I know that. In this game, you take turns moving from spaces along the board. If you land on a chute, you have to go down and backward. But if you land on a ladder, you get to climb back up. This game reminds me of life, because in life, sometimes we have days that are really good when we feel like we're doing awesome. That means we're going on the up ladder. But on other days, we might feel like we're doing pretty rotten and things don't go our way. And that would be like going down the chute. Through our new series, Coats and Shackles, we will be talking about a man in the Bible named Joseph. Now Joseph had a lot of ups and downs in life. He went from being his father's favorite child to being locked up in prison. Buckle up guys, cause it is going to be a crazy ride. Heather, you won't believe the day I had yesterday. Oh yeah? Tell me about it. So, I went to the zoo. Really? That's great. Well, it was great, but then it started to snow. Oh, well that's not good. It's okay though, I have my hat mittens. Well, that's fortunate. But not for long, I lost one of my mittens. That stinks. Fortunately though, I bought some donuts. That sounds delicious. It was delicious, but unfortunately I dropped them on the ground. Ew, gross. It's okay, the five second rule applies. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, but it had already been 10 seconds. Bummer. It's okay. I got on the carousel anyway. That sounds like fun. Then it quit working. Oh, that's frightening. But my seatbelt held me in. Well, that's good. But I was on the giraffe and I was stuck so high up in the air. Yikes. It's okay. I had a donut in my pocket. Oh, lucky you. But then I dropped it again. Again? Yeah, but it was all good. The carousel started working again. Well, that's a relief. But I was stuck there for so long that the zoo closed. Sounds like that was a strange day, filled with ups and downs all over the place. Today, as we launch into learning about the life of Joseph, we're going to hear about many of his ups and downs. Today, he's good. Things start out on an up. So let's jump in. How many of you have brothers and sisters? I have two sisters and one brother. In the Bible, we read that Joseph has a lot of brothers, like a lot. Not just three or four, not six or seven, but 11, 11. 10 of his brothers were older than him and one was younger. Even though he has so many siblings, Joseph was the favorite in the group. Joseph's dad, Jacob, loved Joseph the most, and he gives him a beautiful, colorful coat. It might have looked something like this, it might have even been more, more colorful, it might have been long-sleeved, we don't know. But how would that make you feel if your brother or sister got something really nice and you didn't get anything? You'd probably feel a little jealous, wouldn't you? When we first meet Joseph in the Bible, we learn that he is 17 years old and he's a shepherd. Joseph watched over his father's flock of sheep. That was a pretty good job. Joseph was able to be out in the open air and spend time hanging out with sheep every day. Joseph was obedient to his father and did what he was told. How many of you have dreams at night when you sleep? You're not alone. Joseph did too. In fact, he had quite a few dreams in which God would tell him incredible things about the future. God would speak to Joseph and reveal things to him in those dreams. Joseph would tell these dreams to his father and brothers about the dreams that God had given to him. So check out one of the dreams that Joseph had. This is found in Genesis, 
in chapter 37, verses 5 to 8. So it's near the beginning of the Bible. So if you have your Bible ready, it's right in the very first chapter, or in the very first book. One night, Joseph had a dream, and when he told his brothers about it, they hated him even more. Listen to this dream, he said. We were in the field, tying up bundles of grain, and suddenly my bundle stood up, and your bundles all gathered around and bowed low before mine. His brothers responded, So do you think we're really going to do that? Do you think that you're going to be the king? Do you think you're going to actually reign over us? And they hated him all the more because of his dreams and the way he talked about them. What's important to understand is that God has an awesome plan for Joseph's life. Joseph doesn't know it yet, but God is going to use him in incredible ways. God, our Joseph was open and listened to God in those dreams. And he, even though he didn't know exactly what they meant or what there was going to happen to him. Welcome back, Journey Kids, for another memory verse. This week, since we started a new series, we have a new verse for you, and I am so excited for it. This verse comes from Jeremiah 29 11, and that is partway through the Old Testament. So see if you guys can find that in your own Bibles at home. I'm going to teach you the actions for it, but first I'm going to show you the actions. Then we can learn it together. Okay, here's how it goes. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Did you guys get that? Well, it doesn't matter if you didn't get it the first time because we're going to learn it together now. Okay, so it goes like this. For I know, you point to yourself, you point to your brain. I know the plans. You take your two hands right here and you move them along. The plans I have for you. You take your two fingers and it's almost like they're coming out of your cheek. So have for you, declares the Lord. So point to your cheeks this time and then your hand comes from your shoulder down to your hip, making an L shape, just like you're saying Lord. Declares the Lord, plans to prosper you. I do two loop-de-loops with my fingers and point upward. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So my finger comes from here down to my elbow not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope. So you take your hands and do two steps. Hope and a future. So my hand goes like this. It comes straight down, kind of from my ear, straight down, pointing forward. And that comes from Jeremiah 29 11. I think you guys got it that time. You guys are really good at memory verse. So let's do it one more time all together. Are you ready? We'll go slightly faster, but still at a pace you can keep up with goes like this, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Good job, guys. That was all sign language too. So you guys are learning a whole Bible verse in sign language. That is amazing. Good work this week. Keep practicing, look it up in your Bible, learn those actions. And next week, when you guys do it with another leader, you guys are going to rock it. I just know you. Have an amazing time practicing. Do you guys enjoy playing, uh, learning about some, uh, some of the Joseph story and learning a little bit more about chutes and ladders? Well, Joseph had a really great job and great fashion, but things were going from great to horrible in one day. Joseph's brothers and were jealous and not excited about God's plan for Joseph's life. They don't believe him when he tells them about his dreams and they start to create a plan to get rid of Joseph. This is where we hit pause on our story, so don't miss next week. To finish today, we're going to pray. If it helps you to Fold your hands when you're, and focus when you're talking to God and close your eyes. You can do that now. All right, guys, we're just going to pray right now. Dear God, you're really awesome and really powerful. Thank you for your plans that you have for all of us in our lives. 
and that you care for us and that you have plans to prosper us and make us successful like our memory verse is saying. And thank you for the story of Joseph and all of the cool things that we learn from that. And I hope and pray that you keep all of us safe this week and make our week go fun and even give us an amazing New Year's. And yeah, thank you God for being awesome. Amen. We can't hear, we can't wait to hear more from the story next week. I hope you guys can't either because we're going to find out where Joseph goes from where he, we left him. See you guys next week.